Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to David Place. My name is David, and today we're continuing our playthrough of Firewatch. I finally got my Dual Chuck controller to work, so it should be, I don't know, I like my console controller, whatever. Alright, let's continue our adventure. On the last episode, we were starting our new job as a, uh, I'm not exactly sure what we are. Are we like some kind of, uh, Forest Watcher, I don't know how you call those, actually. We know we're not a ranger, because we said that on the last time. Uh, so, okay, so I believe our current objective is to stop the kids from... Um... There you go, got my backpack ready. I gotta go after the kids that are sending off fireworks. Oh my god, I feel like heavy. I feel heavy with this backpack, dang. I wish I could just leave it here, but I suppose I will. I'll probably end up needed it, ne needing it L later on. Some of the stuff I have here. Okay, read the map. Do I just need to go this way? Find rope in NFS Ketchup Box 360. What the heck is that? Oh, oh! Fireworks. Where are they? I hear them. I hear them. I'm like, I have a surround system, I believe, and I think I hear them this way. Okay. So I'm gonna walk this way. There you go. Goodbye, map. I don't need you. I can follow my other senses. I'm like a werewolf. I hear it. I, I hear over here, like over there. I feel. Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to pick up at this uh, box thingy? What is that sound? Hop over. Oh man. Oh man. I believe I'm a little overweight. That wasn't very, very agile. Is there a way to run here? Now that I'm... There you go. I think I'm running now. Ooh, there you go. I believe that is the box I was uh, looking for. What was the password again? 1234 or something? Alright. Uh, maybe I should have asked. 1, 2... Ah, oh, dang it! No! <laughs> 3... And 4. There you go. ECS Pie. Oh, look at that. There's a map here. Copy information to your map? Yes, let's do that. There you go. Map updated. There you go. A rope. Now I need to deal with whoever is setting up the fireworks. All right, here we go. I think... Oh, oh, oh. Was it this way or that way? It seems the shorter way is this way. Let's do that. They're definitely getting closer. I mean, how many fireworks do these guys even have? They've been just setting off firework after fire. There you go. I see it. Okay. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. What about shitty boss is gonna get me killed hill? Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. <laughs> it's gonna get me kill hill. Okay, there you go. We've renamed it. Oh, there you go. Why wasn't it letting me do that before? I don't get it. Oh, maybe I wasn't on the right side of things. Okay, rappel. Here we go. There we go. This this isn't too bad. Yeah. No, no, no! Oh. Holy moly. Am I okay? <laughs> Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. <laughs> First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. All right. Okay, so I see alcohol, probably whiskey. Oh, they're gone already. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. The idiots down at the lake. Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, look! They decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? 
Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. There you go. Confiscate. There we go. You have been confiscated. Ooh. Two pair of clothes. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Well, Probably are naked. Exciting. Look, they're well, obviously still there, so well, tell them well. off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> uh, there are, uh, panties. <laughs> there are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? <laughs> oh, there's a, a bunch of girls, apparently. There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Maybe Can I shouldn't. Can you handle that? <laughs> Maybe on, I shouldn't. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's... You know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Boy, enjoy dealing with that. <laughs> they are drunk, uh, swimming in the lake uh, with fireworks. Um, you gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea, what? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's groaning. Hey, just so you're aware, I confiscated your fireworks. Our fireworks? What? Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. <laughs> That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. All right. You're just some sad man out in the woods. That's cool. I think I handled that pretty well. Pretty well. Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. Two Forks Lookout. Here we go. This way. Do, 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 hey, do, that go do. okay? It went fine. I think that Hopefully went pretty there fine. won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. No problem. Holy moly, why are you so slow? What's going on here? Look at your legs moving in slow motion. What the heck? Anyway. Here we go. Here is this really the way? Should be going. Maybe I, sh I should just. I should have just gone the way I. Why am I to? Am I, why am I going this way? I should have just gone the way I came. I can handle this. I'm a professional adventurer. Since two days ago or something. I don't know. I don't know if I've actually done so this before. I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Man. I should have taken the whiskey as well. <laughs> that sounds so dangerous, getting drunk in the middle of nowhere. Just like, I don't know, I just met, um, my goodness. Why did I went this way? This makes absolutely no sense. Why would I do this? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. That was terrible, wow. Can I... Oh, I'm <sighs> just gonna let her have that one. Really, really? You cannot do two things at once? Is that what you're trying to tell me? 
What do we have over here? Ooh. Let's copy the map information. Defend, danger, bravery, the great outdoors, our frontier. That's a beautiful... Ooh, look at that. Oh, flashlight. I'm gonna take that. It's not working. Ah. There you go. That's great. Shouldn't I just l lock it again? Apparently I cannot lock it. Ooh, cave. What do we have here? Oh my goodness. This is so scary. Why did I come in here? Oh. Caves closed for access key available at Ranger Station to Boise, Wyoming. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so <laughs> maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Oh, oh man. That's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Where the hell am I? On memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. Okay. There we go. Who? There's some guy out here. Some guy? Yeah, I came out of this cave in a canyon and he was just... Being some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. <laughs> what is it? There's a serial killer. It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. <laughs> people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Can I not go through here? Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Is there not a way through here? Oh, there you go. Found the trail here. Okay. That's a w weird way of jumping. <laughs> Okay, let me see if I can find this guy again. Ooh, look at this. Let's climb the rocks. Is this supposed to be this open-ended, open, open -ended, or am I going the wrong way? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Beautiful backgrounds. Is this where the guy was? I think this... This, this is where the guy was. Okay, let's go here. Man, I'm gonna be so fit with this job. I'm gonna get so fit. Gotta be in shape, bro. That way teenage girls won't won't make fun of my body. <laughs> there was probably an easier way, wasn't there? Whatever. Alright, let's get all the way to the top then. Hopefully we won't fall. Man, I'm in shape. Dude, I slept all day. I have energy to spare. Uh, there you go. Trail close sign. <laughs> Made it. Holy oh, boy. Oh, made it. All right, all right, all right. We made it back. Typewriter? What the, f what the hell is the type... Typewriter doing here? Is there someone here? What the hell? Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Who, who the hell did this and why? Did the girls had friends and now they're like out to get me or something? Or the okay, teenage I put in a call. girls gonna. Okay, thanks. 
you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. Alright. Day two. Well, that was an eventful day one. So, man, like, why would someone want to do that to, like, a... Wake what, up! What do they call it? Looker or whatever? Pick up radio, new day! Rice and shine! I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our <laughs> problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm <laughs> knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, yeah. of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? <laughs> yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, alright. Alright, so... Which way was that? Alright, so I should be... Going north. There you go, that way. Well, hopefully that, uh... Vandal... Stays away from now on. I'm sure he won't, because this is a video game, though. And we need a story. We need conflict! Otherwise, we don't have a story. Is this a way? Oh yeah, I think so. This is where I... Uh oh. Holy moly, that's brave. <laughs> Alright. But it's good, it's good. I'm starting to learn the place. Okay, I need to get to the cave and then north. I get it. Drop down, here we go. Woo! Adventure! Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. <laughs> I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. That? You, um, you owned him with someone? Ooh, 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 ooh. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Sure, whatever. I just, I mean, I just didn't want to talk about my wife, if that's okay. So... I just changed the subject. Uh, 
Is this a way? I think that's the way. Utility pull. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. All right. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But <laughs> I'd rather it not come to that. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, <laughs> you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe, uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Really? I have to go all the way there? Dang. Oh, what the heck was that sound? Better be, better not be bears. What the heck is that sound? This is not a horror game, right, guys? <laughs> I see something right here. What do we have here? Beer. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. What do these girls want? Are they trying to like get back at me or... Maybe it was the girls who destroyed the whole thing. I mean... Here it comes. Go to hell. How come I can't... Re <gasps> Whoa! Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Yes, of course. That thing. Look at that. Go to hell. That is a pretty clear message. <sighs> the hell was that? Unless someone is trying to incriminate those girls, which... Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Ooh, and then snap. what? I... I haven't thought Kill that far them. ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um... <sighs> Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. That but sounds I like a terrible idea. Raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're right. big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Well, there's a... I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I'm just gonna follow the trail of beers. I mean, how many... Like, how can you even carry that many beers? There have been so many... Like, that, that must have been like its own exclusive backpack of beers. And how come that thing doesn't move? Are those panties? Panties that weigh a whole ton, apparently. <laughs> Oh, okay, found it, found it, found it, found it, found the trail of beers. I'm telling you, man, these guys were carrying, like, whole bunch of beers, whole bunch of beers. I mean, there were only two backpacks, but maybe there were more other... I mean, there was definitely another person, some guy. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm, screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. 
I suppose is the other way was blocked uh, that uh, they went down here. I suppose I should. Uh, I, I guess their camp was on the John C. Lake thingy, so maybe I should go to where their camp was. I mean, that's where. What the heck is that thing? Okay, here we go. Careful not to. What the heck? What is? Is that a backpack? What the heck? What are those lines? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Ooh, can I? <laughs> there you go. Let's see what we have here. Some rope will be... Oh. Well, I just took a picture uh, of myself. I took a selfie. Some rope is going to be well, useful. I am flush with ropes now. That pack right. was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. <laughs> wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Wow. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah. It was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. Did he I'm die? Kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Really? Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? So, I mean, let me, since uh, there's nothing else to do, I might as well get the story. They didn't, I mean, I feel like the father left, but the kid... Uh, was left here to die. I mean, okay, okay, let's go through the possibilities. Why would they leave a 12 year old's back there? Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and. The heck? Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? She I myself really wants have chosen to, know. to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. We don't really need to talk about this stuff, right? Well, what would you prefer? Uh, literally anything. <laughs> Do you want to know about the homeopathic remedy for yeast infections I came up with last summer? That sounds great. Okay, never mind. <gasps> You're lost, pal. Dude, there was a fire here? There was a fire here and... From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. I mean, I see, uh, I see fire, or I thought I saw smoke. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. 
you know, oh, budgets you went through the roof, a lookout and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder, I'm from Boulder. Same diff. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase, or what? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you don't know. I was a little preoccupied last summer. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. And what the hell's he going to do? Smell the past, I forgot. And snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. 30 cents an hour? The goddamn park can burn down again. Alright, so I think I remember this part and I should be close to the lake. Hey, do you see that? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Wait, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. They cannot all be just teenage girls being rebellious, can they? Or, I mean, I guess they can. Never underestimate rebellious teenagers, I guess. And they're in their rebellion. I don't know, but it feels like something else is going on here. Obviously, obviously, something else is going on here. Question is, what and who is involved? All right, here we go. Try to run, man. You can do it. All right. No naked you know, girls this time. Better. You're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give them hell. All right. I believe I found a way. How did these guys even get there? They must have a boat or some kind of thing to go through the river. Wow, there you go. I'm on my way. It's gonna be super late when I get there. I mean, the sun is already like going down. Do I really want to be out here in the middle of the night? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Oh! Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. What's going on here? I mean, there's no point, like, if someone had an evil plan to do some evil... I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That no, seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. 
with this. That tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Holy which moly. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Dear Maybe you Psycho. should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Dear Psycho, I hope you're happy. We were leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then you came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and the stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental ex-murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I've known you, what, 24 hours? Maybe, maybe you're nuts. <laughs> oh my god, look, I just came out here to sit in a tower, all right? Not get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're, they're gone? Yeah. They're gone. But you should see this place. It's just... It's weird. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Well, well, well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the previous video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. So it would seem that there's like this third party trying to like uh, incriminate each other. Like they stole the teenage girl's panties and cut the phone lines and they destroyed their camp. And apparently I'm taking the blame for that. The question is, what is whoever doing this trying to do? We'll find out on the next episode. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.